Hello my pineapples and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Car Design. Today we are going to talk about blackout spreads. What they are, what you need to make your own and how you can cheat a little bit with your blackout spread. All right so let's dive in. What is a blackout spread? It's basically when you take your regular planner and you say to hell with you layout I don't want this this is boring I want something completely different and you franken plan in black paper and then you have to use different colored pens because you would normally use a black pen right you would normally use your black pens to fill in you can't do that on black paper clearly so you have to use all of your fun artsy bright colored pens instead so it, it's more artistic, I would say. It makes you think before you write and it's just a bit fun. I don't like to do them often because they, I, I remember usually about halfway through the week why I don't do them. But, but let's go into what you need for a blackout spread. Clearly, you need blackout black paper. Now, Happy Planner does sell this. They sell paper. This is not Happy Planner paper. You know that I'm all about that budget life and I just use, this is just 12 by 12 paper. This is just a 12 by 12 sheet of black cardstock paper stuff. This is from Joann's. I got a big stack, like 50 sheets for a few dollars. You buy this paper from Happy Planner, it's so expensive. This is the same freaking thing. Just cut it down, punch it, put it in your planner. The end. I don't know why the Happy Planner one is so expensive. Anyway, that's what I do because I'm all about giving you tips on how to make planning cheaper. So there's that. The other thing that I did for this one is, and I have a video about how I did this, but I took an old planner, an old planner, and I have a video about old planners, but I took this. I took one of these old sheets from an old planner. You know, like sometimes you get like the 18 month planners and it's got like the six months before. I saved those and use them for other projects. I took an old one, cut this out and used it as a template for this, for the white lines. Now, that's the second thing that you're going to need. You're going to need pens that will show up on your planners. You're gonna need show pens that will show up. And that will be all of these kinds of things. So if you have jelly rolls, metallic pens and stuff like that left over from your scrapbooking days, this is how you carry on using them. You use them in your blackout spreads. White pens come in very handy anyway for whiting out lines and mistakes and stuff like that. And here's the thing, when you make a mistake, because you're going to make a mistake, all you have to do is just use a black pen to cover it up. So where you want on your white, you would use white out to cover up mistakes. For your blackout spread, you just need a black pen. Or some of them you can actually rub off, they will rub out, but get yourself a white pen, get yourself some silver pens, you have your metallic, like jelly roll type pens, all kinds of pens. But you want something that will show up on black paper. The major tip that I would give you is if you are using any of these pens, jelly rolls, metallics, anything like that, when you've written with them and you've done your writing, don't just close your planner. You have to leave it out and let it dry. They need to dry because they're pigment pens, right? They're, pig they're, they're, they're juicier, they're juicier pens. So they need time to dry. So you can't just write and then close your planner and then disappear off because when you come back, you'll have a smudgy mess. So make sure that you're giving your planners time to dry. Your, your pen's time to dry. So this was one of the blackout spreads that I did. And then this is how you can start to cheat. So I've got my blackout spread and I did do some writing in the white pen, but I use these weird white stickers that they have in some of the books. This is your time to use those because they're not gonna show on this. They're not gonna show on this, but they really pop when you put them on black paper and it could be any color. It doesn't have to be black in this case, right? It could be any color. So if you have some old cardstock, different color cardstock, whatever it is, and you're like, you know, maybe I want to do a pink background this week. Do a pink background. It doesn't matter. 
just choose a pen that will pop from it. But this is a great way to use those stickers. Is it cheating a little bit? Yes. Do I care? No. <laughs> no. So again, I did do some of the white pen, but mostly if you don't have a white pen, that's how you do your blackout spread, but still use your black pen. Still use your black pen. And then one of the other ones that I wanted to show you was this one. And this was my Pac-Man spread from last year. And again, I just took my expired planner sheets, again, from like 2021 and beyond, cut out the vertical bit. I stuck that in my planner and then I have the black background, but I have this bit as the white. And you could do this with any, any patterned paper, any color paper, it doesn't have to be black. Even if you're doing a blackout spread, you can still use black pens. You just have to be selective of the stickers that you put on your spread. So yeah, I hope this helped, gives you some tips and shows you that you're not stuck with this. You're not stuck with your boring paper. And if you have a dashboard where you have the days of the week on this side, and this is like your to-do list and stuff like that, if you don't have any to-do list, just put some pretty pattern paper here instead. But you're not stuck with this. You can change it up. That's the beauty of the disc bound system. All right, so let me know down below, have you done a blackout spread? And how did you find it? Would you do another one? For me, I just find by the time that I come back around to around here, I'm tired of waiting for my pens to dry <laughs> because I'll write in them. And my thing is because I have three planners, like Frankenplanned into one planner, I then want to write in it and then go to the next planner and I can't, I have to wait. So <laughs> I don't like waiting clearly. So yes, let me know down below if you've done a blackout spread. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.